Hello, hello, here we are again. Um, this tutorial is going to be an animation like this one you see on my screen. As this was a request, I've been looking for it, and I think I have a bit of an idea of how to make this. So, I created this one. As you can see, it's an orb. And I'm showing you my layers here. This is what I did. I started with one. So I made the orb. Then I duplicated it over here. And this one I made... I moved with my move tool. This one. And I moved it down two spots. So just click on the layer, click on your image and then press your arrow key down twice. And then you duplicate that one and you get this one, put it down two pixels again, duplicate again, down again, then duplicate it once again put this one four pixels up, so your arrow key up four times, duplicate that one and do this one two times. And then when you got all of that you need to go down where your background is and copy that and put it in between each layer like you see over here. When you have that, right click it and merge down. Do that with every layer. Till you have a white background with a blue orb on it. And when you have that, you go to Filters, Animation, oh wait, let me move this up. Filters, Animation, and Optimize for GIF. Then you get a new window. And the layers are named differently this time. As you can see, there are milliseconds behind it. This is how fast it will go. Actually, on this one I don't need to change a lot. Just go to Filters, Animation and Playback. And you will get the screeny over here, then you press play. And now it looks like a bouncing ball. And the way you want it to shake or move, it depends on the way you're moving at the first part. So it's actually, if you want something differently, it's actually looking for it a bit. Probably you'll have to start over ten times or twenty times till you find something like this. But that's actually the basic of making a moving picture. If something is not clear on this one, you can always ask me. Um, when you're going to save it, you go to File and then save if you didn't save it to something yet and then you can save giving it a name make sure to use this extension press enter or just save it and then you get this one make sure you click save as animation second one doesn't matter, export you can actually just put your name in there and then save and if you're going to look in your folder where you saved it
It's over here. That's actually it. Not much to do. But, well, it takes a little bit of time to actually find out how it works or what movements you should do. So, if there are any more questions about this, you can always ask me. Because animations aren't the easiest part of doing. It takes a lot of time to figure out how it works and how you have to put your layers. I hope this was clear. Otherwise, let me know. Bye guys.